Oregon, it's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it. And speaking of the comments, it's question week, so we're answering we're answering questions all week long from the comments, and we got another one today. It's from Terror Six Six Sixes, which is a, a chilling uh, handle to have. Anyway, he says, "Hey, bud, great vids. Just one question. I just picked up one yesterday." and I'm in the middle of soaking my pen for 24 hours. Now he's talking about the Blue Lab pen, the Blue Lab uh, pH pen. Uh, we did a video about that. That's the video so you go into. I'll get back to the question. I noticed you need to add three to five drops a week of KCL solution in the cap to keep it moist. So I was wondering how I store it proper if I'm going away for a month and can't add the drops once a week. Thanks, buddy. Well, thanks for the question. Um, I talked to Larry from Blue Lab and got the skinny on it. So let me show you all what's going on here. So if you look down in here at the business end of your Blue Lab meter, if I can get this thing off, uh, you'll see there's this little glass ball in there. Can you see that little glass ball? Well, it's crucial that you keep that little ball moist. So what they have is uh, this stuff, KCL Solution. Now, if you look down in there, there's a little uh, cup uh, that goes over the top of the glass meter and it's kind of squidgy and it's got a little thing down on the end that the stuff sets in and that keeps it moist. So what you do is you just pour a few drops of the stuff in there and you hold it like that and you go roop like that so and that just keeps it nice and cozy in there nice and moist so that it doesn't uh if once it dries out that's when it can uh die die and you got to get a new one so uh you got to do it once a week they say but i talked to larry from blue lab and he said uh yeah yeah you do need to do it once a week but uh you know, that's an abundance of caution to keep the thing, you know, double, triple safe. You probably can get away with letting it go a little longer than that. And if you know you're going to be going away, go ahead and just put them, you know, really fill that thing to the top in there and then kind of squish it down in there so it's got a little more to go with. And then it should be fine. And also, uh, the thing too is that if you do get home and it's not working great or not working at all, that um, this stuff, in addition to keeping it maintained, is also how you rescue it. And most times, it's it's a good piece of equipment and most times although it is fragile like anything like that where it's a little glass ball most times this will save it and bring it back and one other thing i talked about is uh in my travels i've seen a lot of people that take their meter and i uh, just have this thing on the top there and then they take and they fill up a cup with the kcl and they just leave it in there and i said hey could you do that and he said yeah yeah that's probably just as good in theory uh as far as keeping it moist but the problem is that if you're going away is that this is exposed to air when you got it sitting out there, and so that fluid will slowly, slowly, slowly evaporate away. And if you're gone too long and it evaporates down to nothing, that's going to be a way worse situation with it sitting out in the air dry than it's going to be for it to be in its cozy little nest with uh, maybe not so much fluid or maybe even dry in there. So he said uh, it's designed to work this way, and that's probably the best way to do it. One other thing he mentioned was that, uh, you know, you pour the stuff in here like this, keep this upright push this down into here, and then uh, when you put it on your shelf or where you store it, continue to keep it upright so that fluid does not leak out of there and then it'll last a lot longer that way. That's a lot better way to do it, to keep that thing upright. So Tara, did that answer your question? I hope that did, and I hope maybe a lot of the rest of you were out wondering about the same thing and maybe it answered your question too. So it's question week. It's probably question month. I like this doing the questions. We'll do some regular shows, but we'll also do a lot of questions. So get your questions in the comment. I know there's already a bunch in there. I'm working on all of those. I'm actually going over today to see Scott Ostrander from Nectar for the Gods to talk about some of those Nectar for the Gods questions. So we're going to be answering questions like crazy. So you got questions, put them in the comments. I'll get an expert to answer them. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show. It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow. More questions, more answers.